Hello, welcome to MTG Pro Tutor. I'm Sean Pernod, your host, and today we're opening a Cons of Talk Care Booster Pack. Let's dive right in and see what we get. All right, first thing I always do is take out the marketing card and the land, and I always look at the rare, which is, oh, Villainous Wealth. A lot of talk about this card, very good, very strong. It's funny, the first time I pulled this card, I kind of passed over it, not thinking it was very good. However, it's great. <laughs> it's very, very great. So a target opponent exiles the top X cards of his or her library. You may cast any number of non-land cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them without paying their mana cost. So um, it's great to hit um, X equals 5 on this because you can get you know five cards and you'll pretty much be able to cast anything out there. Um, obviously, the bigger the better. So... Um, great finisher. You can really uh, um, dump all your mana into this card in the, in the late game. Exile a bunch of their library, get all their stuff. I mean, just think of it. You're not only are you milling them, but you're getting their their spells. I mean, you're casting their spells. That's amazing. Non-land cards. That's I mean, that's creatures, enchantments, artifacts, anything they got. It's yours. So definitely first picking villainous wealth and move in that direction, but let's see what else the pack has to offer. Treasure Cruise, an excellent um, excellent draw spell. Uh, you can draw three cards. It has Delve, and it's a good way... Um, it's, a, it's a good addition to uh, any deck, because uh, even decks that don't take full advantage of Delve, it's okay to have one or two Delve cards in there, and this is a perfect one to have. So if you're running blue, you want to run Treasure Cruise, for sure. Mardu War Shrieker is a 3 3 for 4 mana, so pretty good. And you get 3 mana if you attack this turn. So he basically costs 1. So that's nice. Erase, Exile Target Enchantment. Not necessarily main board quality. You might cite it in, but uh, you definitely don't need to main deck it or pick it highly. Alpine Grizzly, I like. A 4 2 for 3 mana. And it triggers your Ferocious because of the power four right there. So that's a great way to get early um, early activation out of your f ferocious cards. Rotting Mastodon, a 2-8 for five mana. It's a big heavy blocker, so that's nice. He, I mean, he can't attack, but um, it's kind of good to, to leave him up for blocks because he can block pretty much anything, including a, a Woolly Maxodon, or L Luxodon, excuse me. War Behemoth, a 3-6 with Morph, so for five mana you can turn it up. And this costs six mana, I think. Uh, I don't think the morph is that good on the behem on this particular card. Uh, yeah, you can kind of surprise a morph card and take it out, but I think I would rather have a rotting mastodon because it's it's cheaper. Well, the morph is the same. Right? Scour Barons, Black White Refuge, Embodiment of Spring. I don't really I don't know I don't like this card. I think it requires a, a bit much from you, but uh, um, I guess five color decks don't mind having it. I think it's better in sealed than it is in uh, draft. Act of Treason, great finisher for your aggressive red deck. Your free weapon master. <laughs> um, I like this card. A four three first strike. When you turn it face up, you're pretty much going to grab. You're pretty much going to take out whatever it was blocking or blocked. And then it gives another creature plus three plus zero. I mean that's great. All right, our first uncommon is Marju Blazebringer. Four four for three mana. It attacks. Whenever it attacks or blocks, you sacrifice it at the end of turn. So you get one attack or one block out of it. Your choice. That's it. <laughs> so you put it there on the board and then wait for the opportune moment. Quiet Contemplation. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay one. If you do, tap target creature, the opponent control, and it doesn't untap during its control's next untap step. So to really make this work, um, you're going to have to build around it. Uh, it's good to have in the first pack if you want to go that direction, but I really advise against trying to build those unique kind of cute decks because if you don't get the right pieces, it just falls to heck. So, And finally, we have the Nomad Outpost. So Nomad Outpost is the Mardu Triland. So not a bad, uh, not a bad pick. Definitely going to stick with uh, Villainous Wealth in this pack. Um, yeah, game winner for sure. Game winner for sure. So, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let's have a discussion. 
I'm Sean Penrod, and I'll see you in the next pack.